outside. <laughs> I'm in the bathroom and I'm just keeping it real because everybody we talk to experiences this same thing. Trust me. I'm like, I had to let go. Uh, <laughs> and that's what my cousin, I said to him, I said, you need to, the way you be eating and drinking, like you need to clean out your stomach. Listen, and he's like, is making he's like, I go good. to the bathroom regularly. I said, okay, but it's not getting everything else that you need to get out. Yep, yep. If you go to the bathroom a lot on me all the time or not. That's what I tell people. They're like, I go to the bathroom regularly. I go to the bathroom a couple of times a day. I got it. But when we go to the bathroom a couple of times a day, is it pulling all the parasites out your body? Is it cleansing your liver? Is it cleansing your kidneys? No, it's not. You're only going to poop out maybe a portion of what you put in your stomach daily. This is going to pull and scooch it out. <laughs> Look, you need that food. And the great thing is, like right. I said, you ain't got to be stuck on the toilet. You go, your stomach feels empty because it's like it all accumulates into one area over that time. My transformation is coming along, Dean. I lost, I'm down a pound since I joined the challenge. I think it was Thursday or Friday. Mm -hmm. I think he's talking good. about from the beginning how your transformation has uh, been. From the beginning, good. I'm down, what, seven pounds? Seven or eight pounds now since starting That's good. it. That's good. And so you only been like kicked in for four weeks, about four weeks. You've been in the yep. business longer, but you've been more consistent, like walking a little consistent, bit. Consistent, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And then yeah, you was you said for a while you had you were waiting for your tea, so you was just drinking coffee for a minute, right? Yeah. And the pounds was still coming down. My house right? has one bathroom and it's three women in here. It's dangerous to try and do a cleanse. Oh. <laughs> Alelani, honestly, Listen, kick them out. <laughs> she got two little ladies. That is too funny. But they'll be asleep while you're letting it out overnight, honestly. <laughs> it, it depends what time you take it. I tell everybody to take it around dinner time, between like dinner time and like six or seven, because then you think about it six or seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. By like twelve o'clock, your stomach starts rumbling and you usually go to the bathroom. You go to the bathroom, you empty. Then you can go back to sleep or whatever. A couple hours later, you might feel that little rumble again. You might have to go to the bathroom. And that's only the first time. She's laughing because she know I'm telling the truth. But <laughs> um, but she probably had to put us on hold. But um, yes, once you go to the bathroom, your stomach is pretty much good and empty. Now, if you go and try to sneak some food in that's not good for you or you know something within those hours throughout the day, certain things will make you go back to the bathroom. But I'm going to be honest, once you're cleaned out, it kind of like psychologically works with you and make you feel clean that you don't even want to eat anything. I, I don't be wanting to eat anything, but I think it just kind of like makes you feel like everything kind of turns to dirty. You know what I mean? You're like, uh, I just take my belly out. So I don't want that back in there. So, you know, that's kind of how, I'm sorry, I have not. Oh, Dean was asking. And Sorry. I'm going to be honest with you, we don't recommend it for the kids, but I've had a couple of my cousins use it for their teenagers, and it actually helped with bloating and cramps. So um, I think she gave it to her 10-year-old, which I didn't think was a good idea, but she said that she actually felt good afterwards. And Look at your kid. Went to the bathroom all weekend, but when she gave it to her 16-year-old around cramp time, she said it relieved her cramps, made her be able to go to the bathroom. So a lot of us have issues going to the bathroom from certain medications that we take, and a lot of us take medications daily, right? This cleanse literally pulls all that bad stuff out at night. So any medicines that you're taking, they break down over time into your body and into your bloodstream. At the end of the day, we're getting it all out. And then the next day, I'm putting it back in. But what I do is I start my day off by putting the liquid gold back in after we're letting all those toxins out overnight. You put that liquid gold back in the next day with the Nutriburst. You take the NRG, and that gives you energy all day. And you're usually good all day. Now, I would have been good, but I wanted to wake up and drink coffee because I'm in a clown, uh, in a challenge. So to beat the challenge, you really got to, like, overdose on tea and coffee. And that's how a lot of them are getting rid of that bloating 